Coming to Unit 2, Data Transmission, Telemetry and DOS in Instrumentation. What is meant by Data Transmission, Telemetry and DOS? Data Transmission, everybody knows. In modern measurements, the various components will be located in somewhere and they are distance far away from each other. Hence, it is required to control any apparatus by transferring the data only we can control. Suppose if in substation, what is the temperature of oil level in transformer that is monitored in powerhouse by the engineer. Similarly, it is necessary to transmit data information between some communication channel between or through some communication channel. The distance is small in case of laboratory. In case of laboratory, all the equipments are located in the lab itself and the distance is very small. By observing that, we can transfer the data. But in case of some industries, the data transmission has to be transmitted in some in kilometers, few thousand kilometers. In case of, in case of aircrafts, in, in case of aircrafts or aeroplanes, the data, the data transmission is happening between some thousands of kilometers. That is, data transmission is the transmission of data, whereas telemetry means telemetering is there. Telemetering. From the far distance, we are metering, that is, telemetering. Data transmission, where there are so many types of data transmission. Data transmission is the one of the process that information regarding the quantity being measured by using transducers and signal conditioning in equipment that is transferred to remote location to control and remote and display. What is data transmission? It is one of the process that transferring the information by the use of transducers and signal conditioning equipment that is transferred for remote locations to display to the customers or consumers or persons. Type of data transmission basically there are so many methods of data transmission. Normally hydraulic data transmission is there. Well, in olden days it is hydraulic data transmission, pneumatic data transmission, electrical and electronic transmission in the form of electric. In the form of a hydraulic means in the form of a hydraulic the, the data will be transmitted in form of pneumatic in walls, mechanical walls, by use the mechanical walls we are transmitting the data, by mechanically we are transmitting. Whereas electrical and electronic instrumentation by the use of meters and transducers through communication channel like cables, data cables, we are transmitting the data. What is meant by telemetry? Telemetry is the technology that we used to transmit the data. Telemetering means, it is telemetry means telemetering. The word telemetry came from tele and metering. Tele means from the long distances metering the equipment. Telemetry is a technology which enables to user collect from several measurement points or inconvenient locations. Suppose the inconvenient locations, how to transmit the data? If the temperature is too high, we can't go and measure. There we are using sensors after that the data comes through communication channel. We can measure, we can see the information. Telemetry is a technology that enables to user to collect from several measurement points. Several measurement points it collect. And presently several individual measurements is in usual form and presenting those in the usual form according to our requirement, the format we can use. That is, it is present and present the several individual measurements in usual form. What is general telemetry system? What is the block diagram of general telemetry system? Let us see. General telemetry system. Telemetry is the presentation of measured values at locations. At location is very remote from the site of measurement. It is a Greek word that is came from telemetry. Tele means remote and meter means measuring. Example, doctor analyzing the data of patient from a remote location. Telemetry involves converting measured quantity into signal and transmission of that signal over a proper channel and it reconverts into actual data for recording display CRT for graphical analysis and further computation.
the general telemetry system consists of primary detector that is sensor primary detector as a sensor and it detect the what is the input variables what are the parameters that can be detected by the sensor after that the parameters will be transferred let us see the diagram of general telemetry system the general telemetry system consists of whatever be the measurement the measurement is input for the primary sensing element or transducer suppose a speed a speed rotating speed of any furnace motor or any one what is the that is the speed is the measurement that will be sensed by transducer and speed sensor primary sensing element after that it will be transmitted it will be transmitted to telemeter transmission transmitter telemeter transmitter after that it will be transmitted to telemeter transmitter that is signal will be processed in telemeter transmitter after that we are fixing with radio link or line inter inference here we are using interference with the radio communication system by doing proper modulation and demodulation will be done in receiving station this is the general block diagram of any general telemetry system is first we measure the input as a input for transducer the input for transducer is sensor input is measurement after that the sensor gives the output to the signal processing equipment that is telemeter transmitter the telemeter transmitter consists of signal processing condition signal conditioning and processing both will happen in telemeter transmitter after that it has to transmit for longer distances radio link or channel will be used that is modulation will be done in radio link with the radio frequency higher frequency because modulation is required to transfer the data from one place to another place if you transfer directly the power loss will take place in the data and some disturbances will appear hence telemeter receiver after that it will receive it is in receiving station telemeter receiver after that it will display as output device as cros we can classify we can divide each part we can divide each part as transmitting station the transmitting station consists of measurement equipment will be there after that sensors we are using to sense that after that what is there in recording indicate record and integrate control it is indicate or record that means signal conditioning equipment it is in receiving station in transmitting station we are transmitting the signal whereas receiving station we are receiving the signal as is again decoding output devices we are using that is block diagram of general telemetry system any telemeter system consists of definitely it has telemetry transmitter telemetry channel and telemeter receiver these thro three are important one by one that is telemeter transmitter is function to what is telemeter transmitter it transmit the data and it is converting the output of primary sensing sensing element that is sensor output is sensed after that it is electrical signal it will be converted and this will be transmitted over it longer distances the signal is electrical format and it is received by the receiver placed at remote location for remote location how to transfer the data that is telemeter transmitter mainly collect the data from transducers that is signal conditioning equipment all will be there in telemeter transmitter after that radio link the radio link allows the transmission of a group of measurement values high frequency carrier with high frequency carrier we are transmitting the data that is modulation will be done with the help of radio frequency after that multiplexing will be happen the process of utilizing data link for transmission of group of variables is known as multiplexing what is multiplexing the process of utilizing the data link for transmission of group of variables group of variables can be transmitted the process of utilizing the data link that is multiplexing means here modulating modulation means carrier and 
modulated signal both will be combined together that is modulation in multiplexing also one of the process in data transmission now frequency modulation telemetry system after that amplitude modulation telemetry system that fm telemetry system is 20% of total telemetry system consist in this world normally fm telemetry system what how the fm radio station transmit the data and receives the data how your mobile or how your radio receives the signal this is a total telemetry system which is presented in from radio radio station to a mobile or radio station to the receiver which is in located in your home coming to this fm telemetry system frequency modulation telemetry system fm telemetry system means whatever be the signal the signal input is given to transducer the sound recorder in case of fm station in case of fm station sound recorder will be there that is also sound sense it is senses the signal of the jockey radio jockey or anchor after that the transducer converts into audio signal that audio signal will be transmitted to signal conditioning equipment what are the ports in signal conditioning equipment filters and uh, this work some parts are there in signal conditioning equipment what are the ports all this will discuss later signal conditioning will be done signal conditioning attenuating the unwanted signal from the required signal the signal attenuation also will be happen in signal conditioning after that it is given to voltage controlled oscillator the output of each transducer or signal conditioner the output of each transducer is connected to signal conditioner modulating frequency of voltage controlled oscillator several oscillators each operating in defected part of the frequency spectrum are mixed for radio transmission voltage controlled oscillator it is after that it is mixed with radio frequency high frequency it is after in the mixer it is happening modulation after that the data will be transmitted to transmitter transmitter is a antenna assume that it is a antenna antenna will be indicated like this after that in receiver station again antenna receives a signal fm receiver it is fm discriminator fm discriminator the block is it decodes the data that is a the signal again reconverting into useful form of audio in case of fm station the fm modulator it is data output will be read in the form of sound in the form of crt we can visualize the signal that is fm telemetry system this can be linked to several fm broadcasting stations also we can allot different frequency levels for different radio stations in the band of frequency band that is bandwidth of one station is vary from another station they will transfer the signals they will transfer the audio in the form of certain range in case of radio stations if you consider there are some frequency limits are given for radio stations thereby by searching in your mobile according to the frequency range the channel will change suppose x is the one radio station y is the radio station some frequency is allotted for these two radio stations but common channel will be there through satellite we are receiving the signal that is the xy radio stations each radio station has a unique place that is in frequency spectrum hence they have to transmit the data in the unique place only after that the data will be transmitted through communication channel that is from the satellite to receiver the, the receiver may be in mobile that band assigned band without interference with other band some radio station will not has to right to interfere with another radio station another channel also they are allotted some bands there are there is a some monitoring committee also there you can see in uh, news channels you can see that uh, some if any broadcasting happens uh, complain to broadcasting company like that uh, indian standard broadcasting company like that uh, a message also you can see in the televisions at receiving station an afm modulator is known discriminator it is a demodulator fm modulator is known as discriminator receives 
coming to pulse amplitude modulation telemetry system as we know that in the last video we we told that what is pulse amplitude modulation the amplitude of the pulse is varied according to the signal carrier signal that is pulse amplitude modulation in pulse amplitude modulation the amplitude is varies only the frequency will remain constant in pulse amplitude modulation if you know then telemetry system you can understand easily pulse amplitude modulation telemetry system uses time division multiplexing tdm that is time division will be multiplexing the time division multiplexing we are using there are two types of multiplexing systems are there one is time division another one is frequency division it says that the signal need not to be continuously in the frequency spectrum each signal has its own monitor that means the signal may not be in frequency spectrum there is a time division there is a particular time for one station there is a particular time for one radio station in that time only the signal will come into the frequency spectrum time division multiplexing system we are using in pulse amplitude modulation system the block diagram all will be discussed later each signal has its own monitor and time in frequency spectrum but not the same time all signals will not be same time basically what is time division multiplexing you can see in this diagram the time division multiplexing it is a commutator it has so many parts it is similar to dc generator dc uh, dc generator we have commutator not like that commutator commutator is a one part for each channel there is a some channel there is a part for in commutator in channel 2 the data will be collected and a time is allotted for each system hence it is known as time division multiplexing multiplexing means combining all and coming in output is one multi means number of inputs after that output is only one time division multiplexing it is the system which consists of divided time for all channels the channels may be transmitters different transmit transmitting stations or any data sending stations it certain time is allotted for the all for all that is the data will be transmitted in the form of one channel that is only one channel it will be transmitted in the form of frequency spectrum all stations have each time in every individual time they will send the data audio signal after that demodulator in receiving station again channel 1 is comes under one time after that channel 2 after that channel 3 it is time division multiplexing the the system in which the time is divided for all stations is it is known as time division multiplexing you can see in the diagram the time is divided between all stations you can see in this diagram you can see it is very important that d commutator it is a d commutator and it is a commutator like similar to modulator commutator means it is a modulator and demodulator it is very important that the d commutator must be synchronized the key d commutator must be synchronized exactly with the commutator otherwise the information on fluid flow that is information will be overflow or wrong miscommunication will happen the commutator demodulator modulator both has to be done at the same frequency level otherwise the information will be overflow or fluid flow it is it is a time division multiplexing we are using in pm telemetry system the time division multiplexing after that we go for pm telemetry system because in pm telemetry system we are using time division multiplexing it is the diagram of pam telemetry system PAM telemetry system consists of all signal inputs channel 1 and channel 2 channel 3 it here we are doing time division multiplexing and encoder output it is multiplexing means giving so many inputs but getting one output demultiplexer has so many output so many one input and what is the multiplexer demultiplexer demultiplexer has one input and so many outputs whereas multiplexer have so many inputs one output in the frequency spectrum each station has each channel has one time division that is 
transmitted through antenna again this antenna it is the antenna that transmit the data after that again it is receiving after that again it receiving to the receiving station you can see this line we are representing the antenna which sends the signal that is reach to satellite in the form of communication channels in the form of radio frequency channels now again the satellite which is uh, given the signals that is be received by telemetry receiver telemetry receiver again an antenna it is receiver and decodes bit synchronization will be happen that is frame synchronization is takes place after that the select by selecting so if you want to see one channel if you want to see another channel we have to select different frequency ranges time division multiplexing is happen after that it will be displayed on crt screen or monitor or in televisions or radio by tuning the radio or the radio frequency signal in different frequency ranges that is where selector it is selecting switch we can we can uh, we can listen the different signals we can watch the signals in television how the data will be transmitted for a telecommunication system by we have dth in our home we have dth in our home the dth receiver at top of your house it is in the form of an umbrella and receiver will be there the signal which is received from the satellite through radio communication that will be received after that in your television it is demodulated and according to our selecting switch according to your remote which you have for your tv a remote is there according to your remote you can change the channels by using your remote you can adjust the channels and all channels are sending the data to your television but you are watching only one that is display of channel one channel two like that it is a time division multiplexing happen in pulse amplitude modulation telemetry system nowadays we are using pulse code modulation for digital transfer of data similarly we go for different types of modulation systems telemetry systems previous class previous unit we discussed about what are the modulation techniques what are the methods now for the same methods how telemetry will be how to transmit a P PCM telemetry system like that it is pulse amplitude modulation telemetry system similarly we go for PCM telemetry pulse code modulation telemetry system pulse code modulation you know basics after that how it will be transmitted it is the same PAM PCM all are will same but these blocks after receiving PCM signal what we have to do those will alter we know that time division multiplexing another multiplexing is frequency multiplexing frequency division multiplexing another type of the multiplexing system is frequency division frequency is divided among all various stations the but what is the frequency spectrum that is the same common for all stations on the same channel we have to send the different data different channels different suppose one television channel like that if you consider ntv or ndtv and planet tv like that so many television channels they are sending the data through a common channel but according to our remote according to our tuning in the television the signal will be automatically replaced the channel a typical fm telemetry system frequency division or frequency telemetry system frequency division multiplexing total available bandwidth for any frequency division is 320 kilohertz the total available bandwidth for any frequency station is 320 kilohertz a typical telemetry system carrier frequency of what is the carrier frequency we are using in telemetry fm telemetry system is 230 megahertz that may be used with a bandwidth of plus or minus 320 kilohertz this implies that when we used in amplitude modulation Coming to digital telemetry system that is PCM telemetry system similar to PAM what you what we discussed previously PAM telemetry system has a signal conditioning on channel time division multiplexing all this similarly in PCM transmission transmission system or telemetry system the PCM is a digital modulation technique constant signal no noise ratio will be in the form of uh, there is less noise ratio 
constant signal that is noise ratio by digital of signal di digitalization of the signal multiple use of one transmission channel by multiplexing there are some advantages interference of free signal transmission low susceptibility to crosstalk there is a less uh, chances for crosstalk direct acquisition and processing of received digital pcm signal to pc now what how to generate a pcm signal already you know that uh, PCM signal, analog signal will be divided into each part sampling that is sampling rate after that it will be converted into digital signal by using analog to digital converter we can convert analog signal into digital converter but in PCM pulse code modulation signal will be previously we discussed that similar to time division multiplexing we are using in case of uh, PCM telemetry also we can see in the previous diagrams the same diagram we represented here also multiplexing system allows multi-channel or synchronous transmission of several several pcm channels similar to pam telemetry system shown in this diagram we have pcm also pcm telemetry system also but time division multiplexing similar to that PAM telemetry system PCM but here we are using digital modulation technique it is PCM telemetry system now the diagram represents so many channels input commutator encoder encoder is the form of binary output one thing is encoder it is commutator so many channels synchronization will be happen in commutator it is a commutator and different time is divided for all channels that is PCM telemetry system similar to PAM if you know PAM you can see this only encoder it is the form of output output will be like that again the data will be transmitted in the form of digital signals by using transmitter now we go for receiver again receiver decoder at receiving station we have decoder receiver decoder or bit synchronization again frame synchronization will happen after that the selecting switch world selector after that display will be in monitor or audio whatever it is the display may be you can observe this is the PCM telemetry system the PCM telemetry system is similar to PAM telemetry system what we discussed previously it is PAM telemetry system similar to that we have PCM telemetry system that is output of commutator is directly connected to transmitter but here we are using encoder encoder we are using in PCM telemetry system analog to digital converter after that it will be transmitted by the use of PCM telemetry system coming to another topic data acquisition system what is data acquisition system used in communication and electronic and medical applications we are using data acquisition system all the data collectively collecting the data and sending the data all will be considered as data acquisition system the system which are used to measure and record analog signals or digital signal is known as data acquisition system data acquisition system is similar to database uh, in software or you can see that uh, what are the so many networks are connected through one database then you can see acquire you can acquire the data from so, much, so many sources that is data acquisition system are classified into two types analog data acquisition system and digital DOSA that is digital data acquisition system coming to analog data acquisition system these systems deals with information in the form of analog form analog data acquisition system means the information will be in the form of analog the information will be in the form of analog and it is known as analog data acquisition system if the information is transmitted or collected or measured in the form of digital it is a digital data acquisition system let's one way what is the classification there are two classified there are two methods of uh, data acquisition system one is data analog and digital both let us discuss one by one what are the analog data acquisition system components what are the parts in analog data acquisition system are components of analog data acquisition system one is transducer transducer is a sensing element it were present everywhere signal conditioning equipment similar to telemetry system it has signal conditioning equipment multiplexer 
calibrating equipment integrating equipment visualize display that is uh, devices display devices like monitors analog recorders analog computers analog computers analog recorders is there data will be stored in the form of analog analog computers this is uh, called these are the various parts of analog data acquisition system the same we can represent in the block diagram one is transducer from the transducer from the transducer signal condition equipment what is the part what are the parts of analog or data acquisition system transducer and signal conditioning equipment multiplexer calibrating equipment integrating equipment after that it is connected to visual display after displaying the data we can store the data in the form of recorders analog recorders analog computers high speed camera cameras on tvs equipment we can connect analog computers again that is a modern modern it is not modern modern we are applying digital dos whereas analog dos it is data acquisition system is the interface between sensor that is transducer or sensing element transducer to computer through data acquisition system only we are collecting the data and monitoring the data but uh, what is the purpose of sensor is to sense and measure end only after that it will be signal condition after the transmitter after that we can see in between that data acquisition system will be there data transmission also comes under data acquisition the basic function of dos is to convert analog signal coming from sensor to digital via analog to digital converter any dos is to fed computer dos measures the quantity it may be physical or electrical temperature like fluid level pressure all this will be sensor may be a photo sensor or microphone potentiometer or accelerometer these are the various parts of sensor may be a photo sensor microphones potentiometer so many we can use as a sensor thermistor also we can use strain gauge also use as a sensor in most cases after going through sensor signal sensor converts the measuring quantity into unified form and sampled by dis what are the objectives of dos the block diagram represent for digital dos it is dos objectives are to transfer the data what are the objectives of data acquisition system sir it must acquire the necessary data at correct speed and correct time and the correct data we are that has to be collect use of all data efficiently to inform the operator about the state of the system it must monitor the complete plant operation to maintain online optimum and safe operations the these are the some of the objectives of data acquisition system it must provide an effective human communication system that can be able to identify problem areas thereby minimizing unit availability and maximizing unit throw point at minimum cost it must be able to collect or summarize or store for diagnosis of operations and record purpose through data acquisition system we can recognize where the fault occurs also to detect the fault also data acquisition system what are the data we require suppose in case of any motor what is the speed of the motor what is the temperature from past data we can predict that the fault can easily identify the another objective is it must be able to compute unit performance including using online it must be reliable and not have downtime greater than 0.1% these are the some important objectives of data acquisition system coming to digital dos block diagram of digital dos it is whatever be the signal but adc we are using in case of analog dos adc will not be present here in digital dos we are using analog to digital converter after that digital recorder digital printers we can use to represent the data first the signal is sensed from transducer after that it will be modified some characteristics of signals that is multiplexer so many inputs one in one output will come from multiplexer after that signal converter if any noise are there that will be reduced in a signal converter after that adc after that digital recorder certain condition certain the select lines for multiplexer from the computer we can select the data also what is the data we required according to the computer operation operation where the fault occur or what happens to the data from the previous data also we can store because of the store recorder is there the data will be stored simply what is analog dos if you know a analog is to digital converter we are using 
that is a digital DOS. The one by one part explanation we can see now. The digital data acquisition system functions are one is handling of analog signals making the measurement after that converting to data into digital form and holding it that is in the form of recorders it can hold and sample and hold circuit we are using to hold the data. Now explanation of a digital DOS transducer it is device which converts one signal to another signal one form of a signal to electrical signal only transducer inverse transducer convert electrical signal to another form transducer suppose a mechanical motion any linear motion is there that is LVDT is the one of the transducer or NPN sensor PNP sensor photo sensors photovoltaic sensors like that so many sensors we have that may be used as a transducer speed sensors now signal conditioner another part is signal conditioner in digital dust for faithful representation of analog signal, signal will be has to be modified, attenuated. All these are happen in signal conditioner. A DC signal conditions are consist of DC sources, DC bridges and low pass filters. All this will be used in for resistance transducers such as potentiometer and resistance strain gauge we are using. This low pass filter, all this will be. Now another one is multiplexer. Multiplexer or scanner it may be also known as. The multiplexer acts as multiple analog inputs analog inputs after that connecting to sequentially to one measuring instrument after that multiplexing is a process of sharing a signal channel with more inputs more inputs one output the signal channel the channel through one cable we are sending the data or if you use the radio link in previously frequency spectrum low mirror radio link word control what is the function of ADC analog to digital conversion that is quantization or sampling will be used digital recorder stores the data another one digital recorder it's like that so many parts we explained now the another topic is modern digital DOS modern digital DOS what is the difference between that is sample and whole circuit the modern digital DOS consists of transducer amplifier active filter analog multiplexer after that sample and whole circuit after that adc and computer data bus computer data bus through programmer sequencer or com computer it is the data can be easily transmitted modern digital dos block diagram it is also modern digital dos means it is also telemetry system digital dos uh, telemetry system it is a data acquisition system data acquisition is nothing but collecting from various points and stored and transmitted by the use of computer data bus we can transmit the data to various locations or by storing the data in the form of hard disk or computer memories then we can send to the another places now what are the comparisons between fm frequency modulation pulse amplitude modulation and pcm pulse code modulation the simple comparison between fm pam and pcm as follows description fm and pam pcm we can see FM, PAM, PCM. Efficiency in use of radio or tape recorder bandwidth. FM is medium, whereas pulse amplitude is best. PCM is not good for radio, in use of radio stations. Cost of small transmitting system is lowest cost, low cost, high cost it is. Size also FM telemetry is low, small and large it is. Cost of all large transmitting system is highest cost of large if you want to transmit for longer distances the cost is highest but is the it is medium cost size also in the size also we compare the size of pcm telemetry system is loss large cost of small receiving system is lowest cost we can use a small radio also in case of fm but pcm signal if you want to receive the cost has to be pcm signal that is analog to whole circuit receiver is required Cost of a large requisition system, a receiving system is accuracy is poor in case of that, but excellent accuracy for PCM telemetry system. PCM telemetry system has excellent accuracy. That is about uh, comparison. The another important topic in second unit is, that is data transmission is, what is the difference between time division and frequency division multiplexing systems? Time division, time is divided among all stations on commutator we are using. Similarly, frequency division multiplexing, frequency is divided among all stations.
you can see time division multiplexing it is also known as time sharing system time sharing time division like that it involves the transmission of data and samples rather than continuous data transmission typical of frequency division when telemetry show changing low bandwidth data and it will be extensively wasteful time division it in this temperature measurement occupied full rf communication link okay the time division system again time division multiplexing is we are using in pam we are using time division multiplexing pam source 1 source 2 source 3 that is station so many stations 10 channel multiplexer communication channel it is after the data will be synchronized modulation and transmitter and through antenna will transmit it is a transmitter antenna it is a transmitter antenna it is receiver antenna after that receiving so many detect it detect the data second detector first detector like the receiving station has detector or tuning amplifiers are there after that data will be transmitted to d commutator that means d modulator or out output will come this is time division multiplexing block diagram whereas time frequency division will like this the frequency division multiplexing is like this you can see in this diagram 44 sub carrier there are frequency is divided among all stations in each station has to transmit same frequency bandwidth of frequencies like this 4 plus or plus or minus 4 kilohertz 230 megahertz are allotted for one another one is 232 kilohertz you can allot for another stations like that sub carrier sir we can see this is the frequency and versus amplitude versus gain frequency division multiplexing you can see the diagram frequency is taken on y axis after that attenuation or gain be taken it is a crossover fc carrier frequency bandwidth of this channel is one channel is this one and another one is time frequency is multiplied divided for one channel it is one frequency it is another channel another frequency you can see this is all about unit 2 that is data transmission telemetry and dos